This is Ryan Herrera of CHGO Cubs. We're in Mesa, Arizona, and today I'm joined by Trey Mancini, new Cubs first baseman, DH, outfielder, whatever it is. First of all, Trey, how are you doing today? Great. How about you? Very, very good. It's a sunny day. You know, it's been a little windy to start spring training, but uh, it's, it's a good sunny day today. Yep. Number one, how is the first week, week and a half, two weeks gone uh, for your first spring training with the Cubs? It's been great. Uh, it's my first spring training being on a team other than the Orioles, actually. So, um, yeah, like for first experience um, on a new team other than getting traded last year. But it's been incredible. Mm -hmm. um, everybody's made me feel at home from the start and um, getting along with the guys great. And the staff's been incredible. Um, can't say enough. What have you thought of all the additions the Cubs made? I know you were one of the later ones. Um, just as you maybe even prior to signing, seeing the guys they were bringing in, but now that you are here and you know around them, what have you th what have you thought of all the veterans or whoever it is that the Cubs have brought in this season? Uh, it's been an excellent, you know, been a lot of excellent additions, and um, it's great to be a, a part of that. You know, I, I noticed what the Cubs did in the off season, even before I signed, and to be added to that group at the end was um, an honor because uh, these guys are all you know total pros and have been around for a long time, and and um, yeah, it's been such a great group. You mentioned that this is obviously your first spring training, not with the Orioles, with a different team, right? Um, but you did play for another team. You played for the Astros. Uh, just going through that experience, post-trade deadline, we'll, we'll, we'll get on that, but uh, post-trade deadline, going that World Series run with Houston, what was that like for you last season? It was incredible. Um, you know, that's another team that really like took me in with open arms right when I got there, made me feel at home, and um, I'm really thankful for my experience there. And, and getting, you know, to go through a playoff run and, and winning the World Series, um, was incredible you know it's why we all play the game so to be able to experience that was um, a dream come true and what is maybe your biggest takeaway from from that whether it's you know learning how to win at the big league level or being a veteran like what is what was your biggest takeaway from that time what you had in Houston and making that run um yeah it's just you know those guys are, are so confident and so sure of themselves um you know and and it rubs off on you even when you're struggling which you know I did offensively um you know after my first few weeks there I had kind of a rougher time offensively but at the same time it got me ready to come into any spot um, especially during the playoffs you know we all were on the same page the moment isn't too big for anybody there and that rubs off on you big time so prior to the Houston uh, the trade with the Orioles or the, from the from the Orioles to Houston what I guess just was that like that experience the, the, leading up to the trade deadline the trade happening and just kind of that whirlwind kind of 24 hours and stuff yeah I wasn't sure if uh, I was gonna get traded or not because we were playing some really good baseball in Baltimore we had just had 10 game winning streak and um, we're really trending up so it was definitely bittersweet at the moment but um, you know something again that I'm thankful for that I got to experience you know the playoffs World Series but um, but yeah I'd been in Baltimore for a long time and I um, was kind of you know one of the team leaders there and and um, was the most tenured player so it was you know tough to leave in a way as mm -hmm. far as um you know kind of leaving leaving yeah, the yeah. guys I had you know gotten so close with so many guys on the team but um you know I go to Houston and again felt so welcomed and got really close with all them really quickly so um you know it was great to experience kind of both sides there yeah, and and leaving Baltimore was obviously it had to be tough because that's where you went through so many things and obviously the, the illness it, it happened while you're in Baltimore you know the ups and the downs um, so how tough was it to leave Baltimore for you yeah I mean I had such a strong connection with the city there um, and you know the fans especially I, I just always felt this special bond with there they always really embraced me um, you know I wasn't somebody that was a high draft pick or like the biggest prospect or anything like that but um, but they, you know, always embraced me from from the beginning of my career. So, um, always felt such a good connection with them and, and um, with both regimes. You know, the, the regime that drafted me, Dan Duquette and, and Buck Show Walter was a manager, and then Michael Elias came in yeah. and Brandon Hyde was a manager. And I was, uh, you know, close with them and had a great relationship with them too. So I just felt so lucky because um, I got to be around a lot of great people. But, um, you know, that hasn't changed at all, even as yeah. I moved on from the Orioles. You know, baseball is um, a great game because of the people you meet mm -hmm. and. Um, you know, it's been great getting to, to meet a lot of different people from a lot of different places. And so now, you know, flash forward to the, the end of the year, you sign with the Cubs. Uh, what, I guess, was the sort of plan or what, what did Jed and Carter and whoever it was 
say to you and, and the plan they laid out to entice you to sign with the Cubs? Um, you know, I, again, I took notice before mm-hmm. um, I even signed with what they were doing, the direction mm-hmm. the team was going, and it just seemed like a fun group to be around. I, um, you know, didn't even have to, I, I'd say, like be pitched or anything like that. Yeah. You know, who doesn't want to be a Chicago Cub? <laughs> uh, so uh, what an opportunity, what a team to play for, what a city to play for. Um, you know, I have a lot of family connections and friend connections in Chicago, too, so it's going to be really neat to play there. What, I guess, from the end of the season uh, through the off season, what were kind of some of the things that you wanted to – was there anything you wanted to tweak or change over the off season? I know there's a little bit of a, a struggle right there at the end of the season for you at the plate, but just um, going into the off season and now going into spring training, what have you kind of – what changes have you made, if there are any, to kind of help you kind of get back to who you could be? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was kind of out of sorts there, searching a little bit too much. Um, you know, not a place you want to be when you're a hitter, so I just wanted to get back – you know, to thinking less, um, being relaxed at the plate, you know, that's the name of the game for me. I just got to feel like I'm kind of just chilling and hanging out up at the plate. And, um, and yeah, it's, it's just about having as little go through your head as possible. So it's just simplifying and, um, you know, working in the middle of the field, not thinking too big. I want to, you know, um, kind of have that right center gap in my head um, uh-huh. every time that I'm up there. And, and adjusting to anything else. No, Houston was a little, it, it kind of, maybe it helped you a little bit, but when you were in Baltimore, the, the new left field, did that sort of affect you at all while you were there? Um, You know, I, uh, <laughs> it was no secret that I wasn't a fan of it. Um, <laughs> you know, I let that be known last year, but, uh-huh. um, but, you know, as a player, you can't let that affect, um, affect you as a hitter. You mm-hmm. know, it is what it is. The wall got moved back. Um, you know, it stinks. Um, you know, Mount Castle and I didn't love it last year, but, um, it helped the team out, helped the pitchers out a lot. Um, it really changed the dynamic of playing at Camden Yards. It went from a hitter's park to a big-time pitcher's park. Mm-hmm. So, and it, it boded well for the team last year. Um, so, um, but but yeah, it was a big change. It, it was a big change. Okay. So what? Coming in, obviously the Cubs have a new hitting coach in Dustin Kelly. Um, what's kind of been the message from him? What has it been like to work with him in, in his first year running this team in, that, in the hitting it's, department? It's been incredible. Yeah, he and Wash both. Um, you know they. I feel like have already like knew who we all kind of were before we got here. Like they definitely did their homework, um, and you know they, they're so good about letting us be us. And and um, especially as old, an older guy, you know what makes you successful, and and you just communicate that to them, and they really help you get there. You know they they know the cues that we all like when we hit, and um, they're just always so approachable, ready to work, and um, you know willing to help you out in any way. So it's been great. What are you hoping to accomplish? Maybe if it's the rest of spring training or the beginning of the season like what are you sort of hoping to accomplish uh, as you kind of begin your Cubs career yeah I mean I'm you know I'm, I'm looking to go and really be a huge contributor for this team you know and and um, you know it's just preparing every day doing little things and um, you know as you get older you know um, you know you don't have to go 100 miles an hour from from day one you know you can um, kind of feel it out and, and ramp it up as spring goes on so um, you know, especially once the games start, um, that's going to kind of teach you what you need to work on. And, and um, you know, it's just all the feels at the plate that you have, good and bad. You just kind of want to kind of take notes and make the adjustments accordingly. we got two more for you. Number one, what was your favorite? You've been to Chicago a couple times in your career. What's oh, yeah. been your favorite part of Chicago? Um, oh, my gosh. I, I, I've been to Chicago a million times. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of my favorite like when I was younger I used to go a lot of my friends used to live there um so um you know we'd we'd go out in old town sometimes um I remember there was a bar we used to go to called Stanley's but I think it got shut down um I yeah that was a good place but I don't I don't know why it closed down (laughs) well and my last one for Cubs fans who maybe don't know Trey Mancini that well how could you describe yourself in five or less words um yeah, I'm, I'm going to put it all on the line. It might be more than five, <laughs> five, five words, but yeah, I, I play hard and, um, you know, I, I want to win every day and, and um, expect a lot of, out of myself and, and um, you know, I'm going to give it my all every day. I think it was a little more than five words. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining <laughs> us today, Trey. This is Ryan Herrera of CHGO Cubs signing out for Mesa, Arizona.